Well, good morning from the ridge. Good morning. Yeah, it is a cold Saturday morning. It is. This bipolar weather's got me all messed up. Yeah, but it's still Saturday. It's still a good day. Uh, we didn't get a coffee chat out to you yesterday. Is that a song? It's a good day. Something. I don't know. There's a jingle. You can like tell that. which one of us slept in, huh? Oh. It felt way good, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not even mad at it. No. I got up and I did chores and uh, got some new babies on the ridge. So stay tuned for the video later on today. Uh, it's just babies and babies galore. So exciting. Babies everywhere. Yeah. Woohoo. Again, <laughs> you can tell who got to sleep in this morning. But no, it's, it's a good day. It's a Saturday. I'm going to be in the Matrix. <laughs> really? Uh, pretty much all day. You just wait. Is that distracting to you? A little bit, maybe. Why? Oh, goodness. I swear, y'all, I did not give him weirdo juice this morning. You made the coffee. Not I my fed fault. him just like normal. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, so yeah, we've got babies everywhere. The weather is definitely much cooler than anticipated. <laughs> And yesterday was awesome. Yeah, we, yesterday was cool. We started a film, which we can't even put the footage we started with because we had guests come, and then we quit filming. Well, um, I, and we didn't even do a lot of pre-filming or talk about who all, you know, the whole thing. We didn't know what we were going to do yesterday. Yeah. Uh, the intent originally was to have a collaborative work day, and then it just ended up being... A fellowship day with uh, Ryan and Jess over at uh, Backroads Homesteading. Yeah. And yeah, just we didn't even break the cameras out. And, no. I mean, we did get a little bit of work done. Uh, that'll be coming up uh, along probably with a secret project that we have planned in the works. Oh. Can't tell what that one is yet, but Shh, it's secret. It is a secret. Uh, and so from I guess from this point out. Be on the lookout for the secret project because we'll be talking about it because we got to prep for it. And while we're prepping for it, we don't want to give away what it is because it's super cool. And yeah, but it'll have to be on the off times from building the YouTube studio. And there's some major changes coming with that too, y'all. And everything else, because I mean, we've got yesterday. Honestly, guys, like they they came over. I mean, Ryan had tools in the truck. Like we were they were ready. Like Jess was like, hey, I thought we were gonna build something. I thought. And, you know, even through conversation, it was one of those that we had all recognized, like, and you guys are telling us all the time, and, and we thrive off how projects, we really do, mm -hmm. it, but it also, it we need that mandatory time down, and sometimes just, when amazing friends come over to hang out, you're just like, I would rather hang out than work on a project, like, let's... You know, we've got plenty of time for projects, like, we can always get together and do a project, and... But part of the project was like building a chicken tractor or a rabbit hutch or even both yesterday. Because we need both. <laughs> because we need both. And then... They need it too. And yeah. Ryan yeah. and Jess are going to need at least one or two chicken tractors for mm -hmm. their place. Um, because we got our new chicks in. Uh, we went ahead and did a big bulk order with, with Eric and Missy over at Tilted K. And mm -hmm. they came in. So we went, what, last weekend? Yep, which and... the, that'll all be out on the video today. So stay tuned for that. So don't give away all the beans. Oh, um, you guys are going to watch it anyways, even if I tell you everything that's in it. Well, the movie ain't made yet, so I don't know everything that's in it. I exactly. mean, I know what we did. but um, So with that, though... You know, if you guys haven't checked out Ryan and them, uh, Ryan and Jess, mm -hmm. and um, over at Backroads Homesteading, you need to. He's got, they've got a lot going on. Yeah. And we, we just, we love them. They're awesome. And are words hard this morning, baby? They are. It's one of those that I don't want to make it sound offensive. Like, Ryan has like 17 irons in the fire, and... You know, so you never know what project's going to yeah. come up. And then he's like, well, I need, I need more, and I need more, and like... It's kind of a a perfect but dangerous friendship with them because we're like a little the same. Point. Yeah, like there's a lot of similarities in we enjoy having multiple projects, uh, you know. But can we get one finished? 
uh, kind of deal. And that's what Jess and I were talking about uh, yesterday. And, and these these moments when we get to have that downtime is great because Jess still works full time. And so we don't get to spend as much time with Jess as we do with Ryan. And it's awesome to have those days where I get a little girl time and it's, it's, it's amazing. It's great. We get to, yeah. we didn't get anything done that we were going to do because we were going to bake bread. We were going to yeah. uh, rehydrate my sourdough starter. Uh, we were going to do all these fun domestic things and yeah, no, it, it, it didn't work, but we did have an amazing meal. Uh, we did, well, I did my, um, I pressed my own hamburger patties with seasonings and onions and all my goodies that I throw into that. And we had that, uh, made mushroom and Swiss burgers, regular American burgers. I made a pasta salad. I made a uh, pineapple upside down cake. Oh, it's so good. Y'all I'll show it to you. Ooh. I had everybody so full that there's actually some left. And it's so exciting. Oh gosh. But Don't spill in the cake. Yay. It is delicious. Yes. Um yes. Yeah, and, and so then we had bought some potato salad uh, and we had some chips and stuff. So Yeah, we uh, cheated there, on the potato salad. And salads. Um, you know, we've been cutting mm -hmm. our own lettuce from the garden, so uh, that's been nice to be able to get salads back into our diet fresh ones like we could have been buying salad over the winter But honestly, we found that since last like summer so when we were cutting our own lettuce that the store-bought stuff just didn't it didn't do it No, we we couldn't go there. So I need to adjust my still because I'm gonna fall off we We're still having to like for tomatoes like that. We still have to buy some right now because obviously it just you know, doesn't have the flavor is when it's your own and um, but no, nobody walked away hungry that was for sure and And then we just we hung out some more guys. We actually had a little fire last mm -hmm. night um, We went down to the creek and and oddly enough it was it Dead was calm. nice and calm and then we were sitting around and I'm like, well, hey, if you guys want to stick around a little longer, like I didn't know what their timeline was and they're like, we don't have any hot date tonight. Like we're here and we're like, perfect. So I went up and started a little fire and then the wind picked up. It picked up. Yeah. And the weird part was we had watched the weather and it wasn't supposed to be overcast yesterday and it was and there wasn't supposed to be any chance of wind or nothing. And then the wind came in, but then that blew in a cold, you know, a cold front, as typical yeah, storms got, will like to do. And way colder this morning. Yeah. And that's why I went out and did chores super early, because I'd gone out to watch the sunrise, and uh, I could only hear the chirping of like one little chick, and then my heart dropped because I thought, oh no, did we turn on the second light? Because we keep the one light on, but when it gets, you know, did we remember to turn on the second light? And what if we lost power? What if the bulb blew? And so I hiked it way across the property. And yeah, as I got close enough, I could hear the rest of them chirping. We just must have one loud uh, chicken in there and they were fine. But I'm like, well, I'm already here, so I might as well do chores and and uh, got them their water. And yeah, and then of course the goats woke up, saw me out there and Ellie Mae just figured she was gonna bellow until I walked over there anyway. And so played with the goats for a little while and took care of the bunnies and then took care of the greenhouse, which is going great. And we were actually uh, bringing totes up so that I could start planting outside. But then I looked at the weather or we looked at the weather for next week. Like there's a chance of like 32 degrees, which, you know, is going to bring a frost. And so it's like, oh. So then we just were putting them down the center of the greenhouse. So I got to go through the greenhouse sideways and big booty Judy's like trying to tuck it all in. So I'm not knocking over stuff going through the greenhouse, but I'll do what I have to do for now. And yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's working. I mean, we've, a lot of us, especially in this area have been talking about that, this, you know, and it's happening in a lot of places, this whole false spring deal going on. You put it out, you take it in. You yeah. Out, and you take it in. I, I seen a lot of posts and pictures from friends and family back up in Michigan that mm -hmm. they had snow yesterday. They were clean, you know, so I'll take a cool breeze to not have the snow. Like that's fine. You know, let it get down in the thirties. Yeah. I don't want it consistent, but you know, it, the nice thing too is there's so much 
the pressure off now with the well being done like i really didn't yeah. I didn't put a lot of thought into like how much that would affect you, especially the line that goes up to the camper because we had to make sure that, you know, like we were watching the weather because it was garden hose going from the well house up there and to not have to keep replacing, you know, frozen busted garden hoses, um, which there still is a section coming from the hydrant to the camper. And I don't think the temperatures are going to drop down enough that we have to worry about that one so much anymore because it is a shorter line. But man just having that water and internet line buried now is huge it's a huge relief because we can you know i didn't hesitate to drive through that area before probably why i've been through so many hoses um you know but having it all buried and don't have to worry about man i really need to trench this i need to bury it there's a little bit more fill that i need to put in around the well um but I've got to almost wait till the rain because it's hard. Yeah, the clay is out of the ground now and it's so hard, so it's not going to pack in right. And Ooh. so, uh, yeah, I've got to basically wait for a rain and then I can get that packed in there. Which I think this week they're talking Monday or Tuesday or something that there's a chance of rain. So if we get that, that'll be good. Um, if we get it, the last storm that we were supposed to have we had like 25 drops of rain and that was it but we watched it going it, it took I mean, out power in the next town it was like, so it was, purple yeah. it was black i Porch love them town. i sit out on the porch until i i very well and we did it. we watched it and yeah. then we seen the reports coming in that like town was losing power and lightning like, strikes oh, and trees down nothing. and we sat out on the deck watching like hey we're glad we're not in town we're up here like it all always seems to you know, and we've noticed that I'd, that's a trend in this area, you know, pretty much all throughout the Ozarks is the weather is very unpredictable in the fact that they will tell you, hey, this is what the weather's going to be. But because of all the ridges and valleys and, you know, there's science wind stuff going on and it causes it to miss a lot of people. Um, you know, not that we really need a big heavy storm through here because, well, the harbor freight sheds are they're getting more down guys they uh, and i know a lot of it is the fact that the one the original one we put up is doing well and we don't really have any issues with that one because it's on flat ground but i'll tell you putting that one putting that yeah. one over here where it's not as flat and it's more of an angle yeah that's that's been a bit of a uh, i've got all kinds of rigging on that that's thing okay. so. it's getting moved soon as soon as the youtube studio is done then the Harbor Freight Shed is out of here. Yeah. I don't want it here because I can't see my garden from the kitchen window. Uh, and it blocks my view of the food court. And so I, I definitely want it gone. So that's just more of a, a reason to get up on the YouTube studio. Yeah. But the other thing, and we didn't get around to doing a coffee chat yesterday. And because we didn't do a coffee chat yesterday, we could not well uh, wish our very close friend Lauren at Making at Home a very special birthday yesterday. So we want to say happy birthday, Lauren. We love you. We miss you. We hope you had a good day. And we are so sorry we didn't do a coffee chat to celebrate you yesterday morning. Yeah. And then we, because Ryan and Jess were here, we had missed their live. Um, mm -hmm. And we got in last night and it was late. And she had messaged. And, I, you know, I messaged her back and, and talked to her a little bit. But yeah we just uh, we get, never if we could yeah. clone ourselves to cover the love that we have for all of our friends we would need two or three different clones of each of us uh the reality is we just we just can't but we'll but we'll we make try. yeah we'll have to make sure to drop their link down in yeah, the description come out. they're super cute and yeah they're they're doing some awesome things they just got some chicks mm -hmm. you know well it's uh, chick season it is and it's super exciting over there and everything they do it you know the amount of talent that they have like it doesn't necessarily come off you know because their personalities are so like bubbly and goofy and silly and you know and it's great that they can have the amount of talent in the projects that they do mm -hmm. yet still just be a couple goofballs they're like, like us oh. yeah and, and so it makes us resonate with them so much more so happy birthday lauren happy happy birthday yes i would sing to you but i still got morning 
allergy things going mm. on, and yeah, not gonna mm. sing. So I'd give you my best Marilyn Monroe rendition if I if I were so, there. So um, happy birthday. But yeah, so today, I think today's going to be a Matrix day because we got to get a video out. And then I'm actually thinking I need to go sharpen the chainsaw. I need to clear the area for the nuggets. Yes, because... We have yeah. guests coming really soon. And I know all the other projects need to be done, but I need to do some clearing and prep work for... A little campsite. A little campsite for the nugget. So, plus it's going to be a nice storage spot that puts it out of the way, of, the way. of, you know, any other projects. Like, we had it parked by the well house. And I, I didn't like it there anyway. And, and I had to move it um when we did the when the well truck came in um but the other part was like that spot is so muddy when it rains that yeah. it, there was two inches of mud on the tires just from the last time that we brought it home and parked it because it had just rained or we had yeah it had yeah. snowed and, and it rained and so charles get we, out of uh, the I, I had to back it in there, but it was like, yeah, I don't know if this thing's coming out until the ground's hard. And so this new spot shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, um, we walked around for quite a while on the, on the property because I wanted it like nestled in the woods, kind of give our visitors uh, that sense of peace, that sense of seclusion and privacy too, because, you know, we didn't want to stick them right out in the open. Charlie! I just put some crackers down in the cabinet, and so he's trying to get yeah, in the cabinet. Yeah, he, he thinks he's got to be into everything. <sighs> yeah, but I think this would be a really good spot, and it, it's just going to be a great little camp. I can't wait to get it all set up. And like you said, not only for our guests, but also a permanent place to uh, park the nugget when we're not traveling. But yeah. we have a lot to do today. Yeah, sure. and, you know, it'll... I don't know. It probably won't go super fast, but I mean, hopefully your video stuff comes out good. Um, they always do. So I'm not I ever worried so. about that, but, um, yeah, I, I just got to sharpen the saw and then get out there and start cutting and dragging and cleaning it up, making it easy. There's some other junk over there that needs to be moved well, around. Well, if I get the video done in decent time, then, um, I'll bring the wood chipper over and, until we can build a deck for the nugget, we can lay down a bed of, of mulch. I know, I'm somewhat trying to decide, and I think once I get the area cleared is, I need to figure out, do I do I dig it and give a flat foundation, but then that's gonna put it kind of mud where the camper's gonna park, but if it's flat and level, yeah. and maybe I can just grab a couple of these pine boards that we have and throw them down to put the tires on and, um, because I'm not I, opposed to building a little deck area up there. Yeah, I mean, eventually, I think what will happen is with our next load of gravel, mm -hmm. then I'll end up, you know, I'll pull the nugget out, I'll do any additional groundwork, and then we'll make a whole gravel pad for it to sit on. Because it's, yeah. that's going to be for, that'll be its permanent parking spot. And even if we upgrade the nugget later on, um, it's still going to be the spot. That'll still be the spot for whatever it is that we get parked in there. So yeah. um, I kind of want to, I want to do some extra work. And I think if I do it now on the front side, it'll save me later on, but we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, I've got, are some, you going to film it? I'll film it. Oh, there you guys go. I'll, uh, I don't know how exciting it's going to be. Ah. But like I said, I've got a, we used the chainsaw yesterday and well, guys, there's no shortage of rocks. And no matter how careful I keep being with, I still hit a rock or two here and there and it totally chewed up my chain. So I need to, uh, I need to go sharpen it. And I don't know, I'm going to try a little bit. I'm not against, I may need to make a run to town and just go buy another chain. I, I have, have a fortune in chains and we even bought you a chainsaw sharpener. Right. And i have still got to finesse on how to work it right. Um, I'm, I'm not a, send help. I'm not a sharpener guy. Like it's a skill that I'm working well, then maybe on. I'll learn how to do it. And, because and I want to, a lot of chains. Uh, I, I want to like hone that skill in even with knives and stuff like that. Like I've watched a lot of stuff, but it's, it's one of those, like, I understand how the theory works, but when it comes to practicality, I mean, it's, I don't know. I'm like a bull in a china shop. It just at this rate, we can't afford to keep you in chains. Well, 
see what half it was. It literally has only been like two weeks. There's a lot of rocks. <laughs> excuses, excuses. I've cut a lot of trees. You have, but we have a manual sharpener. We have an automatic sharpener. Well, it's none of them are automatic. They're just powered. But. I love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. we need to get to work. I've got to get on this video. And so we are gonna call this one done. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you for joining us on our morning chats. We were just talking yesterday how it's just so awesome because we sit down and we would do this anyway. And it kind of helps us focus our day and motivate us to keep going and to get going. So we just wanna thank you guys for being a part of it. And we appreciate you. If you haven't checked us out over on the main channel, Go check us out. Oh, and tonight we actually have our first members only live chat at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time over at the White Rock Homestead main channel. Yeah. So, yay. So, hopefully you guys have an awesome day today. Yeah. And have a blessed day, y'all. Even if the weather's cold, put on an extra jacket. Go do something outside and have a great time. Yes. All right, guys. We'll see you. Bye.